hey guys you welcome back to my youtube channel are you all doing hope your day is fine so guys you might be wondering what is going on between um mercy and um white money okay guys they were discussing okay white money was telling mercy that she he had a cross and a cc you know when they were talking when cc was telling cross that both of them are going to be the last two standing they're going to stand side by side with each other on the the finale day yes so our uh, mercy was uh, uh, white man was telling mercy about it and he said that when he heard it he just smiled and they were like that those people are not serious that two of them are going to be the one they're going to be the two last standing so uh, they were like um mess now said ah, it now makes sense white lambo so as it stands now they are the very first sheep according to them that's formed in the house even mercy was <laughs> using it to taunt ek telling ek that they are now official yes that they're now official now white lambo <laughs> And it's actually so funny. I mean, these two winners. Another thing is that we two of them be loyal to each other. That's the question I'm asking myself. And I'm asking that you would ask some question. Do you think that these two people, Mercy and White Monda, both of them are going to be loyal to each other? From my own side, I can say that White Money will be some I uh, would be loyal to their whatever they, they they want to form or what they have. But with Mercy be trusted we should be loyal to white money i would like to know what you think in the comment section guys anyway let me officially welcome you in my channel if this is your first time of coming across this channel please guys subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified as soon as i upload a new video and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for sticking with me so guys as i was saying as it stands now, white mono, though they have discussed this thing before, but this one happened again today. So, white money is a kind of proposing alliance to mercy, and it seems that mercy is a kind of binding to the extent that mercy even went to EK to ask him about what he think about his relation or whatever he wants to form with white money. And EK was like, It's good, I, I, at least you'll benefit from it and messi was like what do you mean by that he said no you benefit from that at least you'll be you are sure of food since white money is the one cooking i'm like <laughs> he is a very funny guy guys so away from that um is another conversation that happened in the house today where fraud was telling the um, his fellow housemates in the dining in the dining table where they were eating he said that he has never been attracted to dark girls that the only girls only that girl he has uh, you know fancied in the time past was alex that she was the only person that he has fancied in the time past that he has always loved of uh, fair girls i mean of course we know fraud's wife is fair so and i'm like with all this uh story and capping what co complexion was um esther again that year of course Edda, esther is a dark girl so i don't know where this is all this uh capping according to them is coming from so and so AJ was like asking him do you still fancy him now nah, like i mean he said that ah, alex is a very beautiful girl but now nah, he does not have anything like i mean he's married now <laughs> so it it was at a time pass that it's no it's not um something new guys and i'm like mm. anyway i must give it to fraud fraud has been carrying himself very well ever since he came to the house i mean uh, yeah, he even he came to the house with his wife with his uh, wedding um pictures that you know he looks at that picture every morning. I believe that why he did that is a kind of you know for it to always put him in check. He look at that picture every morning 
before you know he start his days so guys that is it. i would like i will allow you to listen to what he said before we continue <laughs> Okay, guys, another one here was uh, the conversation that Sissy had with um, Doi last night, where they were discussing, where she was discussing about uh, Alex and Perry, you know, you know, bringing up uh, the presentation that he did um, in their wager task. He said that uh, that thing that um, that uh, Alex did, you know, they observed one minute silence for Rico Suave. He said the same thing that they dragged in for that, the fact that he was in, she was in US that time, you know, uh, she went for vacation when Rico Suave died, that they dragged uh, Alex that the way they dragged him was too much. I'm like, Sissy, what is your problem? Like, what is your problem? What is your problem? Will you always find fault in everything that Alex does? Like, I don't get this kind of uh, toxicity and uh, obsession. I don't get it. Okay, see, you know, there's some things I was expecting from Sissy. This thing, you guys were housemates since 2018. You know, she even got ahead to say that, uh, okay, she, what she said about Perry was that uh, because that she's associating herself with Alex, that she's going to diminish. In fact, she was even telling, doing that, uh, um, Perry is diminish, diminishing, you know, that everything about him that like, is going to be flushed down the toilet because of his, of his association with uh, Alex. And I mean, Alex, to me, I've, I've never seen Alex like a bad person, even though he was even trying to point that to, to her that that she did not really see Alex the way she sees it, is trying to portray her. And she's not buying it. You know, this kind of girl is a kind of a kind of person that, you know, anybody that she is not in good terms with, you as her friend must not talk to that person. And it doesn't work that way. That is what she wants. Her problem was because that Alex is still, I mean, Perry is still talking to Alex because according to her, she and Perry were friends outside the house and now they are inside the house and they are i mean Perry is associating with alex and she did not like it she wants uh, Perry to keep a very long distance from alex and unfortunately Perry likes alex like she wants to he would like to have everything to do with alex but cc is not having it he was even telling he was even telling uh doing that he should go and ask her uh, uh, you know that they should go and ask her uh, toby she did not mention toby's name but he said that one in 2008 of course she was referring to toby and i'm like what is there to talk about toby toby is doing very well in the movie industry he's married now expecting his second child they are living very well. So you now, you are even still single, not married. You are still in a BBN or stars house. Which won't be your problem. You need to rest. Like, Sissy needs to rest. She needs to rest because her problem is too much. She has so many... The bitterness is too much. It's so... I mean, it's too much. She needs to free her mind. Free her heart. Like, free her heart so that she will know whether she will add a height. The thing is affecting her growth. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, it's too much, it's too much. Yes, but then try it. And people know her now. So this thing, eh? You know, he just, you see, he just used, carries his name and is washing down his body. So you should not ask from this thing. It's a gentleman's down. I don't feel. And the problem is that she complained to whoever cares to listen to her about Alice. Okay, she was uh, discussing with Adikunle that she never liked Alice, that she would never like her, even in the next hundred years to come. And I am like, she your uh, likeness, they buy food for Alice. Abby, your likeness, they put money for her account, bank account. I mean, this is not necessary for waiting for a game because of man that is not even your husband. The same thing that happened between you and Alice during Toby's time. Okay, a quick trip to um, Toby's Instagram page. I noticed that Toby is even following Alice, but not following Sissy. And you, you know that since something that happened so over how many years, over five years now, Sissy has not let go. Sissy has not forgiven herself. That's what is affecting her. She has not forgiven herself. And Alice has moved past all this brouhaha. And Sissy is not ready. Like, and I mean, it's too much, guys. This thing is too much. Somebody should talk to her so that she will free herself. So that with all this thing that is happening, that man will still see her tomorrow and I want to marry her. Anyway, guys, so... I don't like her. I don't never like her. I even in the 
And the funny thing is that even the parish is even sucking for does not even see her in that manner. Because NJ was asking if Perry, did you like her? Perry said no. That they were just friends outside, like in a romantic way. He said no, guy. I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section. Please go ahead to share your opinion with me. Let me know what you think, guys. Do you like her? Like, I don't think so. I don't know. I have some feelings for her. That's what I'm saying. So, like, I think that in this house, you and my money are the only niggas that I've seen her to, like, talk to, like, for long periods of time.